Hi, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is D, and today's tarot card of the day, how the Wildwood Wild Tarot deck is. A three of bows and fulfillment, and it's ironic that this card popped up because yesterday we were talking about that a little bit with the balance card. And uh, here you are finding balance with nature, and then all of a sudden, you know, you've had a couple bad days, but now you're finding that fulfillment. And, uh, you know, fulfillment, to me, it's it's that spirit that nourishes you, giving you that inner security and joy. And we talked about that a little bit during that balance card yesterday, right? Finding that inner balance, finding that tranquility, finding that joy that's out there. And, uh, you know, you, you realize that yesterday that you had to get back to that balance. And you found it real quick, which is good. Because, you know, now you've got goals and desires that are being, you know, that have to be met. And it's giving you that a sense of accomplishment, that you're working on the right way of doing things, right? That you're going down the right path. And that's what we want to find out on our spiritual path, right? And, uh, you know, it's, you know, it, the question always comes up, you know, what's our purpose here? But it's also, you know, it comes up as to say, you know, am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? Am I going down the right spiritual path? You know, and the one thing I do know is spirit will correct you if you're not. They'll get you back on a path whether you, you know, you are aware of it or not. But, uh, you know, this is just for me, this is confirmation that we're going the right way, right? Uh, you know, that we're following, you know, the the universe, we're following our guides and mentors that are out there. And, um, you know, we're listening to our intuition. We're being fulfilled, you know, and just as that, that gal has got the, uh, you know, the serpents entwined on her, on her, on her gown or his gown um you know the three bows also represent you know collaboration of, of efforts and it doesn't make a difference which way you go okay if you choose to go to the right or you choose to go to the left you're still going to have a sense of accomplishment because that's going to be you know how you're attain you're supposed to attain you know whatever goal you set yourself out to and when you do that Okay, when you start meeting those goals and you start meeting those people along the way, you know, and you know, you're starting to feel accomplished, that allows that spiritual energy to flow through you. That allows you to reconnect with nature and find that balance, right? And there's a green man in those rocks. I didn't mention it yesterday, okay? But there's a green man in those, in those rocks that's watching over you. You know, uh, the quest that you're on and the knowledge you've gained over the last, you know, year two years month week day hour however you want to look at it um the knowledge and wisdom that you've gained on this journey has helped you become balanced and focused okay now you know we did go through that blasted oak two days ago where it was cataclysmic catastrophic you know news coming to you but like i said now you now you're free of those bonds okay and you know being free of those bonds allowed you to become more balanced you know, you had a little bit of that, oh my gosh, what's going to happen moment, right? That fear moment, that worry moment. And that's what led into the blasted hope, that insecurity, right? Other than that, everything was, was looking good, okay? So you had a little wobble, okay? You realized that. You, you know, and the balance card came up and reminded you of that. And when you focused on that, that fulfillment you know, promotes confidence, it promotes strength, it promotes peace, inner joy, tranquility within you, okay? It allows you to attract those other emotions, those higher level emotions that are out there, peace, joy, love, right? It allows you to attract, you know, a better balance for yourself, work-life balance, let's say, okay? Maybe a balance with nature, maybe a mental balance, physical balance, right? You still got the ace of bows, that spark of life that's out there, okay? You, you're able to create whatever you want to create, even though you still had that little wobble in there. That's giving you the confidence, strength to move on. And then when you look within, with that life lessons card, and there's three life lessons cards down here, right? You realized, you know, in order to be fulfilled, you have to go through some, some things, okay? And, you know, that hooded man kind of told you, you know what, you need to stay set to your goals. You know, he looked, you know, you look within with that hooded man and you start contemplating stuff, right? You kind of you know, contemplate why you're here. You contemplate, you know, if, the, if you're on the right path. 
but you also contemplate the goals that you're on. And if you're working towards attracting new things, you know, putting some fire energy, creative energy, you know, into place, some action energy, yeah, you're going to have a little wobble every once in a while. But it's going to tell you that you need to get back on track. You need to find that balance. You need to find that fulfillment of what's going on. And when fulfillment happens, you know, that's the inner spirit that shines on others. And, you know, when you're fulfilled, others are going to feel fulfilled as well. Okay, because they're going to see that you're happy. Now, you know, that's in a, that's in a perfect world right? Where everybody's happy, happy, joy, joy. But, you know, I worked in a situation where you would go in there, if you were happy, people were miserable. And what they would do is they would make you miserable really quick. Okay. They looked at, you know, all the negative that was going on in there in the workplace. And, you know, too much negativity is, is not a good thing. All right. It'll ruin a positive spirit really quick. But if you're going to work and you're fulfilled with what you do and you've got that joy and you've got that uh, inner tranquility with what you're doing, then nobody can knock you out of that. That's because you found that inner peace, that inner spirit has you know, fulfilled you okay, with that joy and that peace and that love that's out there. And what does that do? That builds trust with your comrades, with your spouse, with your family members. You, you know, you feel like this is what I'm supposed to do. And this is good. I feel good, right? And you know, and when you're building up that security, you know, with your community, your inner energy will be a beacon for others to follow. They'll see that and they'll ask you that question. They may say, you know, hey, you know, you seem to be happy here the last week. You know, what's been going on with you? And you just say, you know what? I found my balance. You know, I'm one with the universe, I'm one with spirit, I'm one with nature. I'm one with my job. You know, I'm feeling really fulfilled in life. And it doesn't make a difference, like I said. You know, which which path you go down, you're going to be fulfilled. All right? Now, you know, the other thing I like about this card is it's moving forward. You know, bows is, is fire energy, right? The ace of bows, that spark of life, is giving you that energy. You know, and, and the two of bows is decision-making. So, you know, to jump from the ace to the three, you know, you had to come across that too, even though it's not down here, right? So here's that spark of life. You made that decision, all right? And now you're fulfilled. It doesn't make a difference if you're going out to the farmland or if you're going down to the river on this card. You will find that inner joy. You will find that tranquility. And this person right here is just a messenger. You know, hey, how you doing? Thanks for coming down this path. You know, you made that decision. You know, you had that spark of life. And I'm just happy you've made it this far. I don't know what's down to the right. I don't know what's down to the left. But whatever you're going to find is going to be helpful for your spiritual path. It's going to be helpful for your fulfillment. And you know what? To help you on your journey, take one of these bows with you. Be fulfilled. So there you have it. That's today's card of the day. The Three of Bows. Fulfillment. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel and share it with others. And this is D for a Spirit's Path. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care. God bless. Stay safe, everybody.